All right, y'all. A uh, quick garden tour, right? Quick, because it is blazing. Um, it's about noon, so it's pretty doggone hot. Um, as y'all can see, my corn is getting it's getting some tassels, y'all. That corn don't really get that that tall. This uh, candy corn, y'all look at these peas, y'all. Y'all look at these peas. I cut these peas back, and I'm back picking every day. There's one. Here's another one. Every day I'm picking. Now, I'm fighting the aphids a little bit. Can y'all see that? I know the light's kind of harsh, y'all. I'm fighting the aphids a little bit. But honestly, what I've just been doing is just like manually. Um, I usually just smush them or um, spray them with the the hose or something you know pretty hard it, it, like I said aphids they're so soft bodied you can kill them that way you can just spray them right off your plants but um, and I'm sure as I go around see all you gotta do is keep walking and you'll keep seeing them uh, that was not quite ready yet but um I most definitely been watering every day. We're having a heat wave. I hadn't noticed this. My melon plant is putting on flowers. I don't know if I'm gonna get no females. I don't know if I got enough time for that to get or not get any more melons. But I might try to pick these just later and lay them down. I forgot about them, but got them now. Um, my little froggy friend. He hangs around. Can't wait a minute. Can y'all see him? Am I? Am I filming right? Let's see. I can't really see the light is so. Oh, there he is. There he is. Let's see. Can y'all see him in the middle of the screen on that leaf right there? He right in the shade too, but as y'all can see, my corn's looking good. That's my hand up to the leaves. Uh, that one, I doubt it'll do anything. That little one, but it's all good. Um. This batch actually looks much better than the first batch that I did of corn. Um, kale just doing what it does. I need to cut this off. I need to cut that off. Let's get some snips. Let's get some snips. Because I believe that's ready, y'all. And actually, I think since this is a winter squash, I think if I cut this off, because it's I, I saw another female up there. I ain't never grown these before, so if this ain't ready, I will most definitely let y'all know. Wipe the dirt off. That's a big, can y'all tell how big that is? That sucker's heavy, too. It's very heavy. So, add this to my little harvest collect. I'm going to sit that over there. I'm going to let y'all know what that tastes like, too, when I cook it. I'll probably cook it up. I might cook it today, tomorrow. Um, I have water, y'all, but we in a heat wave. It's been between in the 90s, triple digits every day. I don't know how that this happened, but got a tomato to set. Something's been eating these. Leaves gone. And I see some poop down there, too. It's a horn worm in here somewhere. It'll be my luck. I won't find him to eat up everything but uh I did fill these beds some but really I need to fill them some more but the stuff I filled them with is it pretty moist even though my stuff is drooping down but it's just it's hot y'all it's hot um so this stuff will run from the sun as I call it but ouch I gotta get them blackberries going stab me can y'all see my beans y'all can see all in here all the flowers look at all these so if you got some beans leave them y'all nah cause when it start to get to the end of the season it's like in the, in the beginning of the spring they put on like gangbusters and at the end of the season they put on like gangbusters but when it's cool off even a little bit more, I'm going to get an even better production. 
And I didn't learn that about these until last year. Y'all see this? See all these aphids on here? What I'm going to do is just smush all in. I know it's disgusting. I'll wash my hand later. Well, that, that, that one came off. But... Uh, it might it might be all right. I might be able to get some beans out of it, some peas out of it, man. But if y'all just see all of these, God, aphids just love peas, y'all, especially my peas. And and this this pea plant over here is a volunteer, by the way. I did not purposely plant any peas over here. Yeah, turn your fingers off. Yucky nasty. I don't know. Y'all tell me. I be seeing people in the garden with gloves. Should I have on gloves? I don't. I don't never have on no gloves. I figure that's what soap and water for. But what can I say? Who that's hot coming out of there? God. And I will wash my hands with soap when I go in the, go in the house, y'all. But uh, I just wanted to rinse my hands off right quick. Um. These set, I want to show that to you. Um, the vines are starting to, they starting to lean over and lean all out here. I'm looking to see if I got any female flowers, y'all. I don't see no female flowers. If I got some melons before it frosts, y'all, y'all just don't understand. I would be so happy about that because them two melons I got were so good. I ate one and I gave one away. So. But they were delicioso. Um, my strawberries are still making strawberries. But they're just making real beady beady ones. And those are the new ones that I planted. Uh, and so is this one. But I had a, it rained and a whole bunch of pine straw fell. And uh, kind of covered that up a little bit. That's all good. Uh, sweet potatoes looking good. They growing new vines and vines on top of vines and growing all different directions, which is good. My current tomato looks okay. It looks a little like it's tired, worse for wear. But I'll be picking off that, eating off that all the time. This is a new vine here. That wasn't there. And it was around this time last year that my sweet potatoes really, the vines really took off. So... Hopefully that's what they'll do this this time. These are I never grew this variety before. Um, these are I got purple Stokes and I think Malokia or something. I don't know. It could be purple passion, but I know one of them is purple Stokes. I think the other one's Malokia. But yeah, I wanted to grow some purple ones. A little bit more nutrition. Um, after I got them catnip seeds, my catnip just gave up the ghost. The purse line still putting on seeds. I'm probably going to collect some more seeds off of that. Uh, my kale, it, uh, it's got some worms on it. Look at there. Y'all see that? Y'all see him? Worm. I ain't surprised. There's another one. These didn't have worms on them a few days ago. But since it's got back hot like this, and honestly, you know what's funny? I throw the worms on there, and I see birds on there eating them. Birds' eyes are freaking amazing that they can see those little bitty worms on the ground. So I usually don't even kill them. The sparrows or whatever, they'll come down here and get that. But just them three worms, they did all that damage. Like I told y'all, I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of fighting. I pulled a lot of leaves off the bottom of these collards. And the more you pluck on these collards, the more you pull from the bottom like the more they'll grow uh, in the middle. And I just take all them old eight up leaves <laughs> and throw them down there because I'll be honest, some leaves is too holy to even be fooled with, especially if you're talking about cooking them. They so holy, you ain't got nothing but a stem left. Don't even worry about it. Just like this, this collar here. I pull a lot of this stuff. It encourage it to uh, 
grow some more leaves. It's already growing some in the middle, but I want to encourage it to grow a little bit more. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Just that same buttercup growing all over here. Yeah, I know it looks weird to y'all. This is hot. These tomatoes, same thing. Uh, this one has started branching out. Cause I started breaking off of this one, encouraging it to grow too. Like I said, throw that down there, y'all. Y'all quit all that, what y'all be doing. Composting placing, be done with that. Some of y'all be working too hard. I actually feel for some of y'all. Y'all be working so hard. I'm like, oh my God. If they would just do this, it'd be so much easier. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. I mean, I don't have a whole lot to show. Uh, man. Yeah, that's it. So, until next time, man. I, well, wait a minute. I believe these got some peppers on. I know they got blooms on. I thought I had seen some peppers. Maybe not. Y'all remind me to show y'all this plant again in the near future. Y'all should see some peppers because I know y'all see the, the blooms. Alright y'all, so till next time man, I'm going to see you guys later.